Hello electric car lovers, in this channel I cover all the latest tech news surrounding electric cars. I cover the background feel and drive, the current selling price and the specs and engineering that go into making each car. If you have an electric car that you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments below. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the BMW i3. I'll be covering the most important features and one more thing before I start, did you hear about the electric car thief that they recently put in jail? They call him the Joel Thief. Okay now back to the video. Although the automobile industry as a whole had a difficult year in 2020, the BMW i3 had a particularly poor showing in North America. The i3 has clearly fallen out of favor with the EV market, offering more competition than ever before as seen by a staggering 70% drop in sales in the United States last year. BMW, on the other hand, appears committed to extending the life of its first mass-produced zero-emission car. The nimble hatchback is still available in i3 and i3s versions, with the latter capable of reaching 60 mph in under 7 seconds. Even with the two-cylinder gasoline engine acting as a range extender, the i3 is behind other compact, completely electric vehicles in its category, such as the Hyundai Kona EV. It is still a milestone product for BMW, but with a slew of newer BMW i models on the way, as well as tough competition, purchasing an i3 is becoming more difficult to justify. Design and Engineering The BMW i3 is one of the few automobiles from 2013 that looks new in 2021. While the two-tone paint, high roof, stubby hood, and odd belt line may not be elegant, they combine to make it as bright and distinctive as it has always been. Sporty black mirror caps, power folding side mirrors, and adaptive LED highlights are included in the basic model, which sits on 19-inch BMW i-turbine spoke alloys. The 20-inch wheels and flared wheel arches in a high-gloss black finish distinguish the faster i3s. There's a power moonroof option. The i3 is distinguished from other BMWs by its very small length from front to back. It's only 158.3 inches long and has a 101.2 inch wheelbase. The Hyundai Kona EV, which measures 164.6 inches in length is even shorter. A width of 69.9 inches and a height of 62.9 inches are also important measurements. The standard i3 is 2,972 pounds when it comes to curb weight. The i3 weighs 3,276 pounds with a two-cylinder engine fitted as a range extender. The sportier i3s, which has the same wheelbase as the i3 but is 158.1 inches long, 70.5 inches wide owing to those flared wheel arches, and 62.6 inches tall, differ somewhat. The i3s is 3,040 pounds without the range extender and 3,309 pounds with it. Caparis White is the only standard color on the BMW i3. The top hood and hatch are all finished in contrasting black and there's a BMW i frozen blue highlight everywhere. The i3 may be painted in fluid black for $550 and there are four metallic tints available for the same price. Imperial Blue, Mineral Grey, Cashmere Silver and the eye-catching Galvanic Gold are among them. The i3s has the same color options as the i3 but its flare wheel arches are finished in a glossy black finish. Interiors The BMW i3's interior has aged nicely, thanks to the suicide-style rear door's significant use of recyclable material and unusual design. Despite the odd arrangements, the majority of it's simple to understand and the clean design will not overwhelm first-time EV buyers. Although the cabin seems light and airy, especially when equipped with some of the lighter interior colors available, rear seat capacity is restricted. Rain sensing wipers, automatic climate control, keyless entry, front rear parking sensors, and acoustic pedestrian detection are all standard on every i3. Even if the i3s spec sheet currently says otherwise, the inventive interior succeeds in making you feel like you're driving a car of the future. Because the i3 is such a little hatchback, a BMW presumably didn't bother trying to get a center rear seat in. As a result, the i3 can only seat four people. Four adults can sit comfortably, although those in the back are going to feel like it's a little more crowded, as typically the case, because they have an 8.6 inch legroom that's a lot lesser than those in the front. The car's innovative packing has resulted in a fairly level floor that gives adequate floor space. Ingress and egress are more of a problem. Getting into the back is fine when all the doors are open. The rear hinged doors, on the other hand, may only be opened if the front doors are opened first. 
which might be inconvenient when making a fast stop to pick up the kids from school, for example. It's also inconvenient since without a standard B pillar to attach a seatbelt to, the seatbelt is connected to the door itself. This requires the front seat person to unbuckle their seatbelt to allow individuals in the back to enter or exit the vehicle. It's also difficult to maneuver the i3 into tight parking spaces. Once on the road, the driver's seat and tilt telescopic steering column provide enough adjustability and outward view is unaffected. The interior motive of each i3 is described by a series of bizarre titles known as worlds that BMW has concorded. Deca dark fabric, upholstery, andesite silver matte inside trim, and canaf material for the door panels and dashboard are standard on the Deca world. The Mega World, which comes with Mega Carom Spice Grey, Sensatic Upholstery with brown fabric accents and electronic brown trim is available for $1,400 and $1,800. The Giga World has Giga Brown, natural leather and like eucalyptus wood, while the Terra World features Terra Dark Truffle, Vernasca, leather and dark oak wood trim. The cost of the BMW i3 increases by $2,600 with this option. Aside from the silly titles, the varied themes fit the i3's image nicely and shows off the brand's more colorful side. The i3 has 15.1 cubic feet of trunk space behind the rear seats, which is sufficient for most daily purposes. EVs such as the Nissan Leaf and the Hyundai Kona EV, on the other hand, provide significantly greater room. The i3 has 36.9 cubic feet of total capacity when the 50-50 split folding rear seats are folded, again falling behind several rivals. A smaller frunk, which would normally house the engine of a typical hatchback, helps to compensate for this. The i3S's interior storage space is a little better with large bins in the door's front rear cup holders, an open storage spot on the dashboard that's ideal for a wallet, and a covered center console. Some consumers may anticipate more goodies are standard with the BMW i3, but not unforgivingly basic. Although the front seats are heated, they must be adjusted manually. The hatchback comes with automatic temperature control, but it's just single zone rain sensing wipers an auto-dimming rear-view mirror, push-button ignition, keyless entry with a hands-free trunk lid feature, dynamic cruise control, and power folding mirrors are included as well. Although a rear-view camera, acoustic pedestrian protection, and front-rear park distance control are included, the availability of driver assistance technology isn't the finest. You could increase the i3's price by adding features like adaptive cruise control, automatic high beams, a two-way power sunroof, and wireless device charging to the option list. Although the new BMW i3 lacks the most up-to-date infotainment system features in the most current BMWs, the navigation business system with its 6.5-inch high-resolution display and iDrive rotary control remains speedy and easy to use. Apple CarPlay but not Android Auto, a USB audio connection and Bluetooth connections are all part of the system. The base sound system can play HD radio and Sirius XM satellite radio, but a more powerful 12-speaker Harman Kardon unit is available as an option. Wireless gadget charging and a Wi-Fi hotspot are also available. Performance the i3S's powertrain has previously groundbreaking, but subsequent competitors have now surpassed it. With a single-speed gearbox, an AC synchronous electric motor delivers 104 kW and 184 pound-feet of torque when connected with a 42 kWh high-voltage battery. The i3S has the same configuration as the i3 but produces 112 kW and 199 pound-feet of torque. The i3 and i3S may be fitted with a two-cylinder gas engine that does not boost performance but greatly extends the range of the BMW by working as a generator to charge the battery. According to test drivers, the i3S's tiny size combined with the readily accessible torque makes acceleration from the standstill feel rapid without a question. This is a fantastic city commuter. The electric powertrains feel out of place only when merging into the highway and when speeds increase. The i3 works admirably for short excursions and if you can afford it, is ideal for zipping to and from work each day, while a second car with a more powerful engine may be utilized for weekend work trips. Battery life. According to the most recent available EPA statistics, both the i3 and the i3S will achieve an MPG gasoline equivalent MPGE rating of 124 by 102 by 113 respectively. However, in comparison to comparable EVs, the overall range of 135 miles between recharges is inadequate. The Hyundai Kona EV, for example, has a far more practical range of 258 miles. 
Both variants of the i3 may be upgraded with a 0.6-liter two-cylinder gas engine that acts as a generator, recharging the 42kWh lithium-ion battery and extending the overall range to around 200 miles. However, because this engine adds weight to the i3, a combined MPGE rating of 100 MPGE is used. The gas tank on the engine is only 2.3 gallons. According to BMW, the i3's engine can be completely charged in 6.5 hours with a level 2 charger or 80% charged in 4.5 hours. A DC charger station is better option because a full charge takes around an hour and a half. Most people will find a typical 120 volt level 1 household charger to be too slow since it only provides around 4 miles of range per hour. Price and model range The BMW i3 is the most affordable model with an MSRP of $44,450. You'll want to opt for the i3S, which will set you back $47,650. A range extending two-cylinder gas engine that also serves as a generator is available on both versions for an additional $3,850. The i3 with range extender is priced at $48,300, while the i3S with range extender is priced at $51,500. These rates do not include a $995 destination fee as well as taxes, licenses, and registration fees. When you consider that the BMW i3 hatchback qualifies for a federal tax credit of up to $7,500, the expensive price becomes a little more bearable. Even the range extender version, which the EPA classifies as a PHEV, plug-in hybrid electric vehicle, is eligible for a full tax credit. Among the various EVs on sale, the new Hyundai Kona EV costs just $37,390, and that's before the same $7,500 tax credit. This wraps up my review of the BMW i3. Let me know what you guys think of it. Thank you for sticking it out through the very end of this video. Nothing helps out my channel more than y'all watching the entire video. These videos take a long time to make and are a labor of love. If you'd like to see my channel grow, please help spread the word. And until next time, remember, the best experiences aren't about where you end up, but who you're lucky enough to be on the journey with.